Can you see the difference between very productive reflections about training and less productive reflections? It is something different from what we have here in the Gambia. Mostly it is basic, it is always very basic and one way. The lecturers will just come and stand here and just start speaking. But this is mostly hands-on. And the participants, they come in many ages here. They're from, you know, 20 or 19 up to, to 30. Or, and they have experience with another kind of school system. And very often this is very lecture-based. It's very lecture-centered. Mostly the trainings we have are only like the lecturers will just come and tell us what they know, but we won't be involved in that training. They are used to lectures. They are used to so many workshops where they're sitting, listening and doing almost nothing. And here, from day one, they had to work hard. They have to engage, they have to engage in group discussions, they have to do their own assessments, and they have to learn to learn. So, it's not only about journalism, it's also very much about how to learn. We come with knowledge about journalism, but we also come with know-how in teaching. I mean, we are all teachers and trainers in Denmark and we come with modern, a modern pedagogical approach. And it's very new for them. Now we took part in whatever we are doing, whatever they are training on. We have more practicals, we go out and do our work and find out. So it helps us to learn more and we always reflect on what we learn so that we can remember it and to practice is better if we go to our media houses. We know from our teaching in many places, also at home, that people learn from expressing what they learn. I mean, it's not enough that we come down here and we lecture for one week or for one hour, whatever. They need to take it in, they need to experience it, they need to reformulate it, rephrase it in their own words. Then they have learned it. So we spend a lot of time during these lectures that they discuss what they have learned, that they match what they hear with their own experience. And they create even a new thought, which is their own. And that is what they have learned. So it takes time learning. They are useful in society. They could be productive So what is, what is Fatou doing now? She is exploring the objective of the story. I enjoyed the examination very well uh, because this is the first time I am being examined um, verbally like um, sitting in front of, standing in front of the class or sitting in front of the class and they are asking you questions that you expect to um, that you are supposed to to answer um, so it was uh, it was very interesting to me because that was the first time I am doing it but overall um, it is a very good way of um, examination I, I only hope the Gambia adopts this style of examination instead of having you sit for two hours writing on a piece of paper, um, it is better when you explain it then you under, people know if you understand it very well and from the explanation you are giving yourself, you learn from the explanation yourself. And it's a tool. Ex explore the, the objective of the story, what will the story do? Because what we learn here, most of us can practice it and we are able to teach some people, our colleagues, so especially those from the community, communities, radios. So we are able to teach them also.